Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix a USB 3.0 uh, thumb drive that is not recognized anymore when plugged into a USB 3.0 port. Something like this, if I could actually get it in there. And if it would be recognized you would hear the sound uh, coming from my speakers, but absolutely nothing. So let's get to it. Okay, let me show you something interesting that will happen to this USB drive when I plug it into a USB 2.0 hub. Okay, we are plugged into the USB 2.0 hub. Now let's plug this thing with the hub into the same port and you heard the sound okay so let's try to figure out what's happening usb 3.0 actually has more connections the old usb 2.0 has uh, four connections but 3.0 i think it has nine but those connections are really really small you may be able to see them right here at the entrance of this USB. You see the four old ones, the big ones, deeper and really shallow, you can see five more. Well, again, those are really sensible, sensitive and they don't always make contact, especially in all the drives that have been used a lot. But the problem is that if one of them, for example, only is not making contact, then uh, the computer doesn't know what to do is with this USB drive that in theory it's USB 3.0 but in reality it doesn't make contact so it's not properly recognized anyway there's that so we need to to fix this thing mechanically for it to work at USB 2.0 speeds it's impossible to fix it to still work at USB 3.0 speeds but we can do it at 2.0 so let's get to it Okay, so here you can see the really deep uh, five contacts and the shallow four contacts. And I'm going to break those deep five contacts and transform this into a USB 2.0. You could potentially try to uh, re-bend them a bit upwards, but... Uh, uh, that's up to you. For me, that didn't really work. Once they start to bend by themselves and you uh, have this issue, yeah, they will never 100% work properly. They have a really stupid design and again are really sensitive. Uh, but first make sure that the problem is the thumb drive itself, not the port that you are plugging it into. So try to plug it into a different USB 3.0 port on your laptop or computer and if it still doesn't work there, yep, sadly, this is the way to do it. We need to break those. For that, I'm going to be using something like this and just wiggle them around until they break from, uh, from the base. So let me do that. It's quite impossible to show you exactly what I'm doing, but I caught one of them with these uh, sharp tweezers and I will wiggle it uh, up and down until it breaks. It should be quite a uh, fast break. First three pins removed and I will continue uh, to break the remaining two and you can see how tiny these things are in there. So you can imagine they will not make good contact over time. It, it's just a bad design for uh, USB 3.0 Type A. And it's done. Hopefully you can see all the remaining stubs or how they are called down there. And in theory we are left with a working USB 2.0 drive. So let's go and connect it to the computer. Okay, at this point 
say your prayers and plug this into the PC and see what happens. And you heard the sound, so this thing is recognized. And that's about that, honestly. Uh, yeah, I know, you are losing USB 3.0 speed, but at least I'm not throwing away a device that clearly doesn't have a warranty anymore after all those years. So, yeah, what can I say? Hope my video helps you. In which case, please give it a like, check my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.